Welcome everybody to this new video to Express. I'm going to show you today how to add the payer in your account into your actual Shopify. First of all, we need to do is have a Shopify account. I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description so we can all get started totally for free. Now, now that we are here into our actual Shopify, what I wanted to do is to focus into the left pod. Here, I'm going to focus into settings and let's go for payments. Inside payments, what we can do is to focus and add, for example, something uh, called Payoneer. Now, usually what everybody does is to go here into adding the Shopify payments because it's much more faster. But if you are willing to get started with the actual Payoneer, first of all, let's disable the Shopify payments just in case you are inside the United States. Then go here into Manage. And here into Manage, what I wanted to do is to scroll all the way down. Now let's go for switch to a third party provider. So I switched to a third party provider. And here what I wanted to do is to type the provider that I wanted it used. In this case, Payoneer. Now, as you see, Payoneer is not available for me. So that means that what I need to do is to change the country I'm currently living. And now that I changed it, my actual store uh, country, then I can choose a new provider. So choose provider, I click here, and I'm gonna try to find the Payoneer. Now, as you see now, Payoneer checkout native cost is now enabled. So what we need to do, of course, is to install this and then later on, we can see if we are able to, let's say, design an easy accept online payments directly through the web store. So this one should be sending us directly into the installation of the Payoneer Checkout Native Cards. We're going to hit now into install. Now that I installed this application, this one should be sending us back where we're actually at, which is the payment. And it's going to be telling us that the installation has now been successfully done, but we are not accepting payments right now. So we needed to finish the set up our account with this provider to start accepting payments. So if I go for manage account, it's going to be sending us directly here into Payoneer. Now Payoneer is going to be helping us to accept money directly inside the actual Shopify. So if I just click into the upper side and let's go for Payoneer and let's go for Shopify. This one should be uh, sending us or showing us the actual checkout so we can register for the actual checkout. The process is not fast, but it's actually really, really easy. We needed to go for register for the checkout. And here it's gonna be asking you for the first, the last name, your email, phone number, if we sell international from your web store, uh, if you have a business headquarters, and we go for a submit. Now we have registered for the interest into the Payoneer checkout. We needed to receive an actual email with the next hour so we can see what happened next. We wanted to be noticed that to be eligible for the service we have, we needed to have the setup into Hong Kong or have a monthly web store volumes above 20,000 USD. So guys, that is one way that we can do it. The second way is to do it manually. For example, if you already have a Payoneer account, let's go here into get paid, for example, request a payment inside your actual um, account uh, Payoneer and I get my receiving account. So what I'm going to be doing here is to copy this information that I do have on my own, the manual stuff, and I go back here into Shopify and instead of installing this stuff from Payoneer, instead of choosing a third party payment provider, I scroll all the way down and let's go for add a manual payment method. So here I choose create a custom payment method for bank deposit. So here into the additional details, I wanted to tell them that this is a Payoneer um, payment method. And here I go for the payment instructions. For example, uh, payment instructions, let's say for example, go for add to card, uh, number two, pay via, I don't know, maybe example at example.com. And here they needed to input details and all of that. So you want to import all your information for Payoneer from your approved accounts directly here into your Shopify. So automatically the bank deposit, in this case is gonna be now imported and added directly here into Shopify. So you wanna make sure that this one actually um, is enabled. And there you have it guys. This is a really, really easy way to add a Payoneer. Now the last solution that I can give you just in case Payoneer is not enabled or you have any issues though, then what you can do is to choose another third party provider. Just hit here into the third party provider, go for the filter and enable all the solutions, all the payments you want to accept into your store. For example, Apple Pay and Google Pay only. So that means that the best solution for me and the only one is Air Wallet. So creating an account into Air Wallet, um, provide information about my business, all of that should be done 
not that easy but it might be taking a little bit of less time that here just waiting till we have accepted by pioneer so those are elements that Shopify can offer to you. So you don't have to focus into just one payment provider. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So guys, with that being said, head over to the very end of the video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys, if you want to see more great tools here into the Shopify. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Remember, you have the link down below in the description so we can all get started early for free. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video, guys. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.